In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Preparation for Heaven For who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory as if thou hast not received it? 1 Corinthians 4 verse 7 It is that man may obtain the life that measures with the life of God, that the Lord breaks up his worldly ambitious projects, which if permitted to engross the mind, would infit him for the future world. God is testing every one of us. He entrusts us with talents to see whether we will be thoroughly unselfish in the use we make of them. He tells us plainly, He that is faithful and that which is least is faithful also in much. And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? Luke 16 verses 10 and 12. Let us remember that we are to be tried by the laws of Christ's kingdom. We are not our own to do with ourselves as we please. We have been bought with a price, and the laws of Christ's kingdom, the ten holy precepts, present the standard that we are to reach. God is jealous of his law. He tests every man to see whether he will obey or not. Man sinned, and death is the penalty of sin. Christ bore the penalty and secured for man a period of probation. In this time of probation, we are now living. We have been given an opportunity to prove ourselves of value in the sight of him, who gave his only begotten Son, that we should not perish, but have everlasting life. One is our Master, even Christ. We are to remember that we are his blood-bought heritage. God's will is to become our will. Physical, mental, and spiritual gifts has been placed in our possession. In the Bible, God's will is plainly made known. God expects every man to use his gifts in a way that will give him an increased knowledge of the things of God and will enable him to make improvement, to become more and more refined, ennobled, and purified. In this world, men and women are to fit themselves to take their place among the nobility of heaven. In this world, they are to prepare for translation into the courts above. Those who take up this work, as the Bible directs, will, through the grace of Christ, become examples of what all must be who enter in through the gates into the city.